In this video we're going to learn how to configure the extension for mail and deploy for ClickSense. I would like to show you first my app. I want to place the extension here. I have a report ready that I want to create on demand using the button in the extension. This is the one I want to add to my app. So the first thing we have to do is to add the mail and deploy extension to the ClickSense server. First we click on import and then we look into our folder. Self-service, ClickSense and this is the extension. Now we import it. Then we go to our app and add it to the extension. Let's put it here. Of course, it's not configured yet. What we have to do first now, adding the API service URL. We need to access the API using HTTPS. In case your server is not enabled to use HTTPS, please go to the server settings in Mail and Deploy and check this box. Do not use the same port for both HTTP and HTTPS. You have to use a different one. So ours is enabled. And we can copy paste it like this. And remember that we need HTTPS when we change the port and we add the API. If ClickSense is running in HTTPS, you have to call mail and deploy using HTTPS. If you are using ClickSense with HTTP, then you have to use the call using HTTP. For the access key, we need now to create a user. So let's go back to the management console and let's create a user. We will call it API and it has to be an API user type. And in the credentials, we have to enable custom credentials. Next, we add the customer username and password. In our case, the customer username is API and we type in the password. What is really important is the access key. We copy it and paste it here. Next step is the localization. For the default language code we write in for English, the impersonation we're going to turn off for the moment. In the context, we are going to write the workspace name. That is this one here. And for the data source name we add this one here by simply copy and paste. And when we press enter, the red icon here disappears and we can see the following buttons. And now we are ready to add our report. In the report document request we add the name of our word report. Then we are done editing. Now we make a selection. And we are going to create a word report document. You can see here that it is processing now. Once it's done you will see a green icon. Press it, and my report is ready. We can open it and see the result. You can also export the different objects now from the dashboard. Click this button and then, for example, select the scatter plot. It is processing again and exporting the object. And here you see the result. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.